Okay, we're on. Um, it's my first ever YouTube tutorial. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So back with this video. I am back with this video. And welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so here everything is. In my hands. I'm trying to hold everything up. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Wow, I really... Oh, I felt like... I was never gonna get to film this video. Oh, when I say this has been such a long time coming, well, you're gonna see because I have a lot of footage. There's so much built up from the past 14 months, I'd say, since I first found out. Now the start of February, everything is out, everything is on sale, people are already using them, loving them, thank God. That was like my biggest fear. Like, imagine everyone hated it. Oh. Honestly, everyone has just been so unbelievably incredible. Just like blew me out of the water with your support and just like everything, like just swatching the products, spraying the products, smelling them, trying them, buying them, like everything. Like you don't even understand how much that actually means to me. I feel even emotional even saying it. Like it really means the absolute world to me. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just explain to you like my makeup journey because this didn't just happen out of nowhere. I have been working as a makeup artist since 2013. That was the year I did my leave insert. That was the year I finished school. I always knew in school, I was like, right, what is it you're gonna do? Like, I knew this was the area I wanted to go in. Like, when I was in school, this didn't even exist, this job. Like, Instagram just started. I think I, I created my Instagram in 2013. This, to me, was never even a possibility. But I ended up going and doing a beauty therapy course, which I absolutely loved, and I ended up getting a job on a makeup counter at the same time. And then it just kind of took off from there. I started an Instagram. I started posting like crazy. And before you know it, here we are. <laughs> like, it's been a long road for me in the sense that, like, I started really strongly posting on Instagram probably like 2014, 2015 and we're now in 2020 and I feel like now I'm only starting to even scratch the surface of what I want. I'm so grateful for everything I have achieved, everything I put work into because like when I say like this didn't just happen for me overnight, like this has been honestly five, six, seven years of hard work. I'm giving up all my weekends to work on clients, do makeups, taking jobs anywhere I could get them, taking opportunities, meeting people, sitting down, spending hours upon hours upon hours doing makeup looks to post online. And purely because I love it, I love doing it. It's literally what makes me so happy. I don't know what I would do if I wasn't doing this. I just wanna let you guys know that for me, it hasn't been just like, a walk in the park. It's been a, it's a graft. It's literally been the past six, seven years of my life. And I'm just so grateful now that Sosie Boyeshe gave me this opportunity to really be creative, really get to do what I want, get to throw my hands in. They, they gave me so much creative control. They were so amazing to work with in the sense they were like, what do you want? Like how many products do you want? Do you want two? Do you want three? Do you want one? Do you want an entire range? Like they really, were so amazing. I got to pick my own colours, I got to pick the packaging, I got to pick what the products were. For anyone that has that creative spark, it's like the perfect opportunity to just go hell for leather and do whatever you want. I think for me creating this, like, I know what I love when it comes to makeup. I love glowy skin, I love highlighter, I love sprays, I love blush, I love shadows, I love colour. I love everything, but I also love being very glam. I wanted this to be a type of product that it wasn't just something that you're gonna throw in your makeup bag and never look at it, but I wanted it to be something that you could put that on your locker, you could put that beside your bed, you could put that on your makeup table when before you do makeup on a client and it looks so luxurious and so glamorous and you want people to see it, you wanna show it off because it's part of your, your setup. I, that, that's what my vision was. I was like, I just want it to look so gorge that like you don't want to hide it. So I met with the Sosu by SJ team in I think it was October of 2018 and I met with them and they just kind of asked me like look would you be interested in working with us and doing a little collaboration and straight away in my head I was like yes. I remember like leaving that meeting and like nothing was even really confirmed being like okay this is your opportunity to work your ass off to do what you have always wanted and you're like 
you're gonna get it girl you are gonna get it put it out there in the universe and I was like I need this to happen so I remember I went home and immediately I started like pulling together like ideas colors shapes like everything I was like what do you want straight away I knew I wanted the palette to be different I wanted it to be circle just because I feel like there aren't a lot of circle palettes on the market and for me I was like I want that like bit of edge something a little bit different to what's out there right now not to take away from any of the palettes that aren't circle because I obviously think they're so amazing I have so many palettes because I love palettes but just for me I was like now's my opportunity to do something a little bit different finally when we had decided on all the colors it was a lot of back and forward with the shades so I knew the kind of shades that I wanted and they would send them off to the manufacturers for samples send them back and then I would test them I was wearing them to be honest, a majority of them were really good first time. I just wanted a little extra something, a little extra pigment. I wanted like a little extra glitter in some of them. Once we finally got that nailed down, we had the shadows ready. They were actually living in a different palette. They were actually living in Kaylee's palette. And um, we took some shades out and popped on my ones in it. So for ages I was carrying around Kaylee's palette with my shadows in it, which is kind of funny. Um, because obviously I love Kaylee's palette. Kaylee's palette that she created with Sosie by SJ is absolutely unreal, but it was just so funny having two and one was mine and one was hers. We actually got to test out the shadows too. Okay, so it's one month of July. Correct doesn't look like it outside. It's but... raining and um, Kaylee's about to use my palette. It's actually really ironic because my sample palette is like in Kaylee's actual palette from her. Coming from my bad. What's the situation here? <laughs> so Kaylee's gonna use. I know. I'm gonna use. Oh honey. Oh honey. That's and that's like the perfect. Like, All over her eyeballs. Thanks, girl, for the support. Less you the best. Than, less than. <laughs> Come from my neck. What is this? Holy How shit. Unreal. Uh, yeah. Okay, like, well, this makes me happy that it's like Kaylee approved. Because... <gasps> no, it's like so glittery and like you can like just see. Oh, whew. Good, isn't it, girl? Oh, better calm down. I don't want to blind you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Once I got the seal of approval from Kaylee, I knew it was going to be good. So I was like happy out. And then I suppose it came to naming the shadows. Um, I think we probably had them named already at that point. Um, but what I did was I sat down one night and I wrote out all the names of all the shadows and I cut them out and stuck them down to each shade. One, so I could like learn all the colors because I want to know what everything was called. I wanted to remember. And two, I just wanted to like visualize it because I think once you visualize it, it's like way more clear of what you're doing. And I was like, I needed to make sure each name matched the shade. Just named all the shadows. These two, well, these two we still haven't got yet, but. These ones are all named. Shutting the are on the the early stages of the palette. Just named them tonight. It's not gonna look anything like this though, really. It's gonna be in a circle. So I think I'll talk you through all the shades and why I picked the names. Some of the names are so random and I'm sure some of you were like, what was your thought process for this? Go through in kind of I have the palette here on my hand. <laughs> it's still so surreal. All the names and stuff are on the back of this so like you guys can see it for yourself. Here it is. So the first shade here we're going to talk about is this like warm kind of a brownie shade. I love this so much. This is called Sis. I of course named this after my sister because I think I would have actually been disowned if she didn't have her own shadow. <laughs> the one beside it here, this like bony kind of cream colour. This is called Mo. This is after my granny. She passed away a few years ago but she was like such an important part in my whole family's life that I knew again she would be so mad at me if I didn't name something after her. So I had to give her her little shout out so that's for Mo. I really wanted to make this palette so personal to me because I was like this opportunity might never happen again. Shade beside that the yellow shade is called Okr. Because I just like to say that really. And then the one beside that is like that orangey colour. We call that hot sauce because it just reminded me of like that hot sauce you get on chicken wings. That kind of colour. So I was like, yeah. Then the one beside it here, this is called 8. So 8 is after my um grandparents on the other side of the family. That was the house that they lived in. So I wanted to give that their little shout out too. This one here, this is called Squish. Honestly, I can't even remember why we picked Squish. I think it was just a word that I used to say a lot and I still do kind of say it. I like that word. I thought it was kind of cute and I was like, you know what? Let's just call it Squish. The sparkly purple beside that, that's called Fab because like 
Anyone that knows me knows that I'm just like, oh my god, fab. This one here, the navy blue, is called Glam Bishes. This is after my besties. That's the name of our WhatsApp group. That's my little ode to my friends. One beside that is Chella. So I actually wore this shade in Coachella. So it's Coachella, and I'm sitting here getting ready, and I'm using my palette. This is the blue out of the palette that, right now, it's not even out yet, but when you're watching this, it will be out, but... I was being very sneaky back then. And beside that is called Wanderlust. The reason for that is it's because it looks white, but it has that iridescent pink. It kind of reminds me of like a fairy or like a fairy dust. And I was like, you know, Wanderlust. I feel like that's just an appropriate word. One beside that is called Oh Honey. It's a gorgeous golden sparkly shade. And I was just like, oh honey. And then the one beside that, which is like that coppery shimmer color, that's called Boyfriend for Dave, obviously. Black one here is called Runaway. This one is like kind of funny. Basically in my family, me, my sister and our two cousins, there's like a thing, they call us the cores basically. I always had to be gym because I'm the youngest. When we were younger, we used to get up and sing and dance together and then I'm like, oh, they're like the cores. Runaway is like our favorite song. So I was like, you know what? I don't call that Runaway. I think it's kind of cute. And then the brown shade is called Chocolate just purely because it just looked like chocolate. And I love chocolate. So I was like, why not? Okay, obviously I love liner. So I have to have liner. And originally it was gonna just be the liquid liner pen. And I was like, anyone, when you do your makeup, like, or you're doing clients and you're, you're going out, out on a night out, you wanna be smoky. I was like, you know what? You need a cold pencil to, to go with that liquid liner pen. So I was like, what if we do a duo and have the two together? And straight away the girls are like, yeah, that sounds cool, let's do it. So then that's how the duo liner was born. The texture of the cold pencil, I can't even cope. It's so buttery and just so... Bob actually got to use the cold pencil on Terry McAvoy, one of my really good friends, for her wedding. I did her makeup for her wedding day in September. We were in Portugal. I tried to get a little video of it without everyone seeing. Terry knew, but I don't think everyone else knew about it. So I tried to get a little sneaky video. I was trying to find the best lighting. The setup was so unreal in this gorgeous villa. So I was like, I want to document this. I need people to know that this is what I use. I, I envisioned this video. I was like, when I I'm making this video I want to have these clips to throw back so people can see that I actually used it and of course the setting spray we were always going to have a setting spray it is literally one of my all-time favorite products ever it makes your skin look so dewy glowy you will just your makeup will stay on oh it's just my favorite thing ever like honestly I haven't been able to stop using this since I got it so I'm so happy that it's now out there for everyone so of course we have to do a photo shoot um for this whole thing which I was like so excited about so I've just gotten ready for my shoot I did my makeup myself using all my eyeshadows liner this is my blush my highlighter ah, I'm so excited it's actually crazy but yeah so I'm gonna go and shoot this look now Fingers crossed everything goes to plan and the photos turn out really good. I'm like praying because I've actually never had like my makeup professionally shot. I've only ever taken my own makeup photos. Like I've done photo shoots before, but it's always kind of been for more just like a whole thing, never just specifically to sell like makeup. <laughs> but oh my God, I'm so excited for you all to see it. I just really hope you love it. <laughs> So the photo shoot is done. Thanks to Ev, you're the best. <laughs> so yeah, the pictures are done and it's all exciting. And then the second photo shoot we did was back in October, which was like so fun because I literally physically could hold all my products at that point. Everything was pretty much ready at that stage. That was actually the first time I think I got to hold all my products at that photo shoot, like in their finished packaging that weren't just in the sample packaging. So we are just here and it's shoot number two for my collab. So we did the other one back in July and it's now October. And we're doing the final shoot. So I have my products on, hold up, there's a ring light. Let me turn this around. So you can see it a bit better. So I'm wearing my palette and I'm wearing my highlighter, I'm wearing my blush, I'm wearing the spray. I'm literally like wearing it all. Um, it's so exciting. I actually have it here. I've literally just been showing it for the first time. It's in this bag. Um, so I've only seen photos of it. I haven't actually got to see like the actual product. So I'm gonna show you guys now. And it's so fab, I actually freaked out. Didn't I, Jennifer? It's just mm -hmm. like, we've been here all day just shooting and stuff. And it's just so much fun. I can't wait for you guys to see. 
it's really funny looking back on these videos because my hair is different in all of them. And then not so long after that photo shoot, I cut all my hair off to the way it is now. And then I swatched everything in the palette for the first time. And I have some footage of that now. My makeup looks absolutely crazy in this. It was around Halloween time, basically. So. I just got the final, I was gonna say sample, but this is actually the actual product. It's now October. I'm leaving for LA tomorrow and I literally just got my hands on this. I haven't even taken the plastic wrap off it. Like it is so fresh. I'm like scared to open it. You can see I've been doing Halloween stuff. Um, but like, oh my God, I just can't believe it. Like, look at that. Like, that's nice. I know I look crazy because of my makeup, but anyway, I want to just show, it's my first time actually opening the palette with all the packaging and everything. Oh my God, it actually looks so fast. Woo! Are you getting this? Mm -hmm. So that's what, when you first open it, there's like a little sleeve. So, oh, it actually comes out. Details are on this, my name, and then at the back it has all the shades on it, including the names, etc. And then when this comes out of the sleeve, here is my palette. It's so pretty, like, oh my God, it actually is so fab, isn't it? And then on the back, again, it has all the shade names and stuff. Let's just open this up. And then this is what my palette looks like. And you can see the blush and the highlighter have my initials stamped into them because I really wanted to do that. I thought it was a nice little personal touch. I do some swatches, let's swatch it. Let's just swatch the sparkly ones. This one is Oh Honey. And wait till you see this. It is the glitteriest like gold shadow ever. Like look how on freaking believable that is love this one this is the shade boyfriend i actually really like this as well because this is very wearable i actually wore this in the shoot for one of the campaign looks this is a beautiful like, like look how like buttery them shadows are oh my god even look the glitter from this is still coming like look when you actually rub it in as well it's so sparkly like i can't actually freaking go with that. that as like a highlighter literally you could actually yeah here is the shade fab so this is actually one of the last minute kind of choices for my palette i was still like couldn't was indecisive on one but we went with this one again it's like a gorgeous sparkly purple how freaking fab yeah literally it's called fab <laughs> i didn't even do that on purpose this one is called glam vicious this is like a sparkly navy. It's actually so beautiful for a real like grungy, smoky eye. And then of course I was in LA again. I actually had all my physical products with me in LA. I was like using them the whole time we were there. I was so much fun to like be able to like actually have them. I was also so paranoid in case I accidentally snapped a picture of anything because you guys don't miss a trick, especially on Instagram. Oh my God. Okay, so we are in LA. And I think the last time I was with Kaylee, we only had the sample of my palette, whereas now we have the real deal. Bitch, like, don't even... Give me that camera for a yeah. second. Just give me that camera. Look at that gold glitter. Like, yeah. honestly, it speaks for itself, but, like, seriously, eating the fucking, like, glitter yes. particles of that is insane. It's so nice, isn't it? I have to step it up for LA. I was like, Aiden, show me that palette, please. I need some gold goodness. This is insane. Yeah, she's gonna be, like, glistening. That's the gold, right? Like, and that she's just applying that with her finger as well. Oh, girl, you look so good! My eyeballs on fire. <laughs> I loved having it in LA because I just felt like this is so real. Like, having this in a different country, like, when it's ready, I was like, wow, okay, this is it. I also did um, Natalie Maradwena's makeup while we were over in LA, and she was actually the first person that I got to try the palette out on, which was, like, so unbelievably cool. Like, a really fun moment for me to be able to use it on a client. I've also been so sneaky. I've been wearing this for so long. Coachella, I wore it when I was in Marbella during the summer. Using my palette and actually wearing like all my shadows. Mm. I was teasing it out and some people guessed it and I just had to and then of course there was like a bit of like a downtime period where we were just kind of waiting to release everything, having to like keep my mouth quiet for like a long time. <laughs> Once Christmas and stuff was done, um, I went into the socio offices with the girls and we sat down and we played with the products. We planned out like, you know, just like our, just our like strategies of like how we were gonna like release this, what way we were gonna do it. We are in the socio offices with the gals. 
Hello. Um, and we're just coming up with like a plan. All right, Carla's just giving us a demo of the spray. Yes, girl. I've been using this. I've had this in the Maldives. I've had this with me for like the last, I'd say, like, literally three months, easily. Fab. Yeah. And you love it. <laughs> it's so funny. Here we are. We have just planned the party, the launch everything it's all organized look how cool like this office is actually deadly and um, so that's all pretty much organized now and now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the warehouse because i want to show you guys like exactly where the products are i want you to be able to see the aspect of like it in the warehouse and how it gets to you guys and like i have literally been so involved in this whole process and i just want you guys to see what I have been doing. So it's not just like me talking, telling you guys, I wanna actually show you. Let's go to the warehouse. I think I have to put on like a, a high-vis jacket. <laughs> How glam. Okay, so we're in the warehouse now. Like, look at the actual size. Like this is just a, a tiny portion. I can't even explain how big this is. But I think what you said, my collection is this way. So let's go. Let's go. So we actually found a big crate here that was open with my palettes in it. So this one here is this one here is my eyeshadow palettes. How exciting. Also found the eyeliners which are in here. Is this the spray? The face spray as well is in this box. It's even funny that like my name is on the boxes. This is all so surreal. What the hell? How unreal. A really cool moment for me because it was like, oh God, this is happening this doesn't happen to me i was like this doesn't like i just it really doesn't like i go to other people's parties i you know get other people's pr boxes i like that stuff just doesn't happen to me so i was just like looking at the boxes and i was like oh my god and then after that i filmed my first reveal videos okay so i just filmed my first reveal video for the collection so in the first video we have revealed the liner and the perfecting mist and oh it feels so weird to actually be like talking to camera showing the products it's like such a bizarre thing because like i genuinely have been keeping it inside since october 2018 it's now almost february 2020 so i have literally had this inside me for so long this is the look i did using the liners and my highlighter and my spray and the palette like everything i've literally used everything i'll show you my little setup i moved downstairs normally i film up my bedroom but i just wanted to do it a little bit different i just wanted to have a plainer background um so i'll show you guys what i'm currently sitting in a big mess so as you can see i have set up everything downstairs and my little there i am there hi um and everything is just like a hot mess i do have everything laid out here that i've just used and whatnot so <sighs> tomorrow we film the palette reveal and then it was just a waiting game. It was just a slow waiting game of just releasing everything out into the public. And that was super fun. The announcement just went up on So Sue's stories. How exciting. I'm just like tapping through it all. Sorry, I'm in the car. I'm literally on the way home. But something new is just around the corner. Oh, they used a picture of me. I wonder will people guess that's me. Oh my God, hilarious. I would know that's me just because like I know that's me and I feel like the jewellery and stuff is suggestive but I feel like because I have long hair and that's going to throw people off. It's hard to tell. What else? Oh, a nice little mouth shot. Watching Thursday the 30th at 8pm. Ah! Oh my god, how exciting. Three days to go. <sighs> okay, 30 minutes till I announce to Instagram. The collaboration i'm shitting myself i literally was not nervous at all today and now half an hour and like i'm all flushed i feel like really nervous i think i'm just like so scared what if people don't like it please will like it i hope you love it because i do but like it's definitely like the biggest moment of my career i would say and like i'm only kind of realizing that now god i don't know i'm so scared please be nice Please love it as much as I do. Well, sorry in saying that, you guys even aren't gonna see right now what it is. I'm only telling you guys it's me. Eight minutes. Girls WhatsApp is hopping. This is literally us right now. This is so accurate. 
Okay, I'm actually shitting it. I'm about to. Three, two, <laughs> is it up? Is it up? On... Like they have it up. Three, two, one, I'm seven. proper shitting myself. I'm fucking yeah. shit. Oh, there. No. Okay, oh. it's up. Shit, 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 shit. shit. I'm so scared. <laughs> I just posted it! <laughs> Yeek! It's up! The secret's out! Oh god, I'm absolutely shitting myself. <laughs> like three hours until we launch the first two products, which are going to be the liner and the spray. I'm just on the website and they have my picture up on it now, but there's still... What time are we at? Three minutes to go. I'm about to share. It's up. It's up, it's up, it's up. Ah. Okay, hi. Oh. oh my god, right. Okay. You all know about the liner and you all know about the spray, and we're about to reveal the third product tonight, tonight which is the palette. And I don't think anyone's really expecting it. I think people are expecting a palette, but I don't think I don't think he's like, you're expecting what it actually is gonna be. Once I put this up, it's gonna be on sale. Like what the hell? I wanted to show you guys the pure box. Jennifer sent me over the PR box tonight, so this is what like all the other influencers are gonna receive when they get the collection. So it comes in this gorgeous big box, and then inside. Okay, first of all, like, can you deal with the glamour of that? My name literally in like sparkly gold, like it actually looks so fab. And then inside, okay, so there's like this whole bit of paper with like all the information of all the products and whatnot this is just all on it it looks unreal and then inside here so it's a lovely little touch of like the white feathers and then of course i'm gonna move this so you can see what it says so this is the little slot for the palette so it says all eyes on me which is so cute then we have the liner just wing it and then we have the slay and spray sorry move these little feathers out of the way so that is the three of them there all together in this beautiful box that they made. Like I can't deal with how cute this is. And then once everyone knew about everything and all the products were officially out, like into the open, everyone knew what it was. And um, the products then went on sale. So me and my friend drove around all the pharmacies near me so we could actually like physically look at the product. Today is the first day that the collection is actually available in pharmacies. So I'm just with Lauren and we're driving around to the pharmacies <laughs> just to see it. I literally just want to go in and look at it. Like this is like the mock-up display of what you guys are gonna see when you're in like pharmacies and stuff. And here it is in the pharmacy. Ah, that's me. And finally then, the last part of this whole process was you guys started to get your parcels. Everything started to arrive and you guys were so excited and it literally made me the happiest person in the world. I literally sat on my phone and I watched every single story that I got tagged in and I was just like... Next up, I am so proud of this gorgeous human. She's truly one of the nicest girls ever and she's so, so, so deserving of this. Collaboration with Sosu. So um, I'm so proud of you. This is amazing. This is so major and such a, like a step in an amazing direction. So I don't know about you, but this palette is absolutely beautiful. Wow. The shimmers. I just know they're going to be good. I mean, oh my God, it's got an AK. That is so cute. Oh, wow. Yeah, congratulations, Aideen. Oh my God, this is so, so, so insane. I actually can't. Like, I actually can't. Like, look at that. Then of course we had the party. The party was so much fun. Like, so much fun. I have so much footage from that party that I'm gonna put in here so you guys can see everything. We're on this journey together. If it wasn't for all of you, this wouldn't be happening to me. So please enjoy. Oh wow, okay. So it's the morning of the launch party. Everything went on sale last night. It's so exciting. The reaction has been amazing, but the worst thing ever, the water just went to my house. Like, seriously, like of all the times this could happen. So I'm on my way to my friend's house, my bestie to the rescue. And I'm gonna go shower in here so I can get ready for the party. Like what the hell, I couldn't write this, like seriously. Hey, I just got ready for the party. Oh, I'm wearing all of my own stuff, all on my face, feels so good. Um, my voice is going, this is not fun. But anyway, <clears throat> I actually really need to go because I'm leaving in 
20 minutes and of course I'm not ready well my makeup and hair is done I just need to get dressed um so I'm gonna go and I will make sure that there is footage from the party here um because it's gonna be a good one I can feel it <laughs> inspiring a creative makeup artist in Ireland. We like to support our own. When I created So Sue, I wanted to, you know, create and build this brand with fellow entrepreneurs and people that I admire and respect. And Aideen definitely is one of those people. I just want to say the sales are flying. So we are the setting spray is number one, which I'm sure you all agree is absolutely amazing. Terry's like, I told you. So setting spray is flying, it's killing it. Sales last night were really, really, really strong. So we got to keep that momentum going and I'll pass you over to Lady Baron. Thank you very much. Bye, Lady! <laughs> you always accounting your friends how I feel. Now, okay, you know, um, I'm really embarrassed you've been doing this. I feel weird. I don't know what to say, but thank you so much to everyone for coming. Thanks so much to Sue and the whole team for like even asking me because it's been an amazing year just even planning it and it feels so weird now that's finally out but I'm so happy with the response and I'm so happy with everyone that has tried it and even that everyone that's come tonight and let's party. <laughs> by SJ's website. I will leave the links down below. They are available in pharmacies nationwide too. You guys can now get your hands on everything and test them out. Please tag me in them. I love seeing you guys like doing like story tutorials and photos and what you guys can do because I get so much inspiration from you guys as well. You know, I look at people I'm like, oh, I want to do that with that shadow. I'd never think of doing that. Okay, and I think this is the end of the video, but honestly, I just want to take this time to like thank each and every one of you so much like I don't even think you all understand how much how grateful I am for this and like I know that on Instagram you see this all the time that everyone's kind of bringing out different things now and it's so amazing but I really am so happy and so grateful for all your support because it really means so much to me like honestly like I'm just a girl that loves makeup so much and I've just been so lucky that I've gotten to make this my life and it just it will never feel real to me I don't think sometimes I even wake up and I'm like is this my life like is it I don't know but honestly like thank you just thank you so much and like thank you for every like every comment every share every link click every time you watch this video like I, it doesn't go unnoticed it really doesn't and as always Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.